Howdy, folks. We're the Bob and Brad crew. I'm Alex. Uh, I'm Mike. And we are offering product reviews related to your health, fitness, and overall well-being. In our unbiased opinion, of course. Do you have an ankle injury? No. Do you hate your walking boot? Yes. Try, <laughs> try the Taiko <laughs> external ankle brace. I'm glad you were one of two. This fits for you. One of two, at least. All right, price. We don't have an answer for you. They vary depending upon the model you get. And the thing about these is you can't just go to the store or their website to buy them. You need a doctor's prescription or a referral first, and they will send it to Taco to get one of these ordered for you. I wish more products were like this because my wife couldn't order everything under the <laughs> sun. She'd need a referral from her doctor. They're a little more customized, even the not customized ones. A prosthetist or your doctor will fit it more to you. Sure. So. We're going to get into it. This version we have is the acute external ankle brace. So this brace is made for your basic person to wear, like Alex or I, after they have some type of ankle injury or a surgery. Sure. They also make a more customizable one, which would be a little more expensive, that they can order for you. And they also make them for athletes as well. And you'll get into the history. Notre Dame, they actually Notre started. Notre Dame. If you're fighting Irish, you will like this one. All right. So the Takeo Braces started through Notre Dame's associate athletic trainer, Mike Bean, an orthopedic surgeon. Fred Furlick, who is a medical doctor. Uh, he's also the president of Taco. So this ankle brace was originally created to get injured football players back on the field sooner, mm. meaning they're hurt in the first quarter. He wants to back on by the third quarter. Yeah. So, yeah, getting it back on yeah. there. Now they created other versions for people like you and I who are just recovering from some type of severe ankle sprain or injury or if you had a surgery on your ankle. Yep, there's all sorts of ankle issues you could have, and, I mean, they break it down for you in videos. Yep. If you have this issue, you need to adjust it this way. And yep. If you go to their website, they break it down how to rehab with this type of um, ankle brace. Yep. Depending upon what your prognosis is. You got to know what you're doing with this thing, basically. Yes. That's probably why they want you to have a referral. So, so this is a great alternative to a walking boot, which is one of these the bad boys. The dreaded walking boot. Patients hate these things, and I can totally understand why. I mean, <laughs> they do. It's just not flat. Look at how they rock and roll and throw your balance off, and oh and my gosh. also it can kind of work like an AFO, an ankle foot orthosis. This is what they kind of look like. These are custom molded to your body. Yeah. So it's an alternative for both of these. Yeah. So the biggest part about these is they don't go inside your shoe. Like an AFO goes inside your shoe. This goes inside your shoe. This replaces a shoe. Yeah. This works with your shoe. Mm -hmm. So you do not need anything else. This actually goes around. At the end of the video, we'll show how to put it on correctly. We'll also link a video down below from Taiko, um how to put it on um, correctly for your doctor to use or prosthetists that are new to this type of brace. Yep. And this brace will restrict your movement when you put it on side to side, inversion, eversion it's called. It'll restrict that movement if you tighten it up yep. efficiently. I put it on initially and I thought this is loose, but I just tightened the straps and then it worked worked as it should. And also another thing about this brace is nice is when you first get it, it locks your foot so you can't plantar or dorsiflex, so meaning you can't bring your foot up or down mm -hmm. at all, yeah. which is nice if you needed an AFO. It replicates that. Yep. But what they can do is loosen some of these screws, and then you will get some dorsi and plantar flexion. Your doctor or prosthetist will do that for you. Do not do it on your own. Sure. So, yep. so you can eventually, when you want to wean down off of this and get rid of it, if you're able to, that's what they'll start doing. Sure. So instead of going right from this to nothing, mm -hmm. you know, it's a kind of a gradual descent. Another nice thing is it comes with this little tool kit, and it just basically comes with some screwdrivers, some measuring tools, and a pen to write everything down. Uh, on their website, they also have a measurement thing for the doctors to use to send to Taiko so they know what size brace the person will need. Sure. Uh, it also comes with this little instruction manual explaining how to put it on properly and then how to adjust it so you can have a fixed range of motion for up and down or it can be steady. Sure. I was just thinking if the regular person got this kit, how <laughs> nervous they'd be about it looking, yeah, at, looking yeah, at these the, tools. This is why it. this brace only comes from a referral. Yeah. So sure. basically, it takes the nervousness of yep. everyone else oh, yeah. out of it. Are we on to comparing or negatives? 
negatives. This You need the referral. We already hit on that. You need the referral. Yes. That's kind of a drag. So you're going to have to have a doctor's appointment. I mean, you're going to have an appointment anyway because you hurt your ankle. Yeah. So that's the biggest thing. You're going to have to have follow-ups to get it readjusted. Yeah. But it is better than a walking boot. All these you know, I honestly didn't know until I received it and tried it out, but it definitely is. These, you will get... Uh, you're going to get different levels on your feet, especially if you're not wearing a shoe on the other side. You're going to yeah. get rocking. You're going to get more imbalance in your low back and your hips, yeah. and people get really sick of them. If you have poor balance and you have to wear these, yeah. which we've worked with some people, it is a little scary. <laughs> this can take you from a bad to a very bad situation pain-wise or balance-wise, falls. Yeah. Yes. So. so we're going to do some comparisons between right now the walking boot and the takeo brace. So okay. the walking boot. Three to four pounds. This is 14 ounces. Yeah, and these things are heavy. Everybody puts them on, God, ah, they're so heavy. And you can just picture that person with the boot on, lugging it around. It <laughs> bangs on the ground. You know what I'm talking I about. I do know what you're talking about. Uh, the walking boot is very cumbersome. This is a little more stable and agile. It just goes around your shoe, yep. like we said before. We already talked about the balance. This thing's not flat on the ground. Yep, it rocks. This is going to be as balanced as your shoe as you're your shoe. wearing it is. And it really is. I put it on, and it is. Yep. Uh, next, you get a little bit limited traction depending upon the boot, walking boot you have. This one's got some traction on it. Um, your other one with this, you're going to have what other tractions you have already built into your shoes. Yeah. So that's a nice point. And this one you can't use with an orthotic because of you know how imbalanced it is. It's yep. just going to throw you off. And since this goes more. around your normal shoe, you can keep your normal foot orthotic in if you have. Yeah. And that one, yeah, just big bulky, bulky. and this is a lot little easier to use. That's going to – people won't know you're wearing it as much as if you're, if you're out in the community than seeing you with this thing on. Yeah. Gonna now know. we're going to do the comparison between an AFO and the Takeo. All right. So. Uncomfortable. You know, even if it's fitted to you, I mean, it's still a little uncomfortable. It's and inside your shoe. They constantly have to adjust them. The yeah. prosthetists, we've worked with people constantly coming in every six months to a year because sometimes their foot changes, what Swelling, they can do with it. whatever. Yeah, yeah, rubbing in certain areas. This is much more comfortable because it just feels like it's something on the outside of your shoe. Yep. And Mike already said this one can cause skin breakdown if it does rub. I mean, it's on the inside of your shoe. Yeah, if you have poor skin. circulation in your leg. If you have an AFO, you more than likely had a stroke or mm. you some have some type of nerve damage to your legs so you can't always feel when you're getting a skin breakdown yeah. with that this one you don't have to worry about that yeah. which is very nice yeah this one's awkward to fit in a shoe i mean that's an ongoing issue too most patients Jamming have it in your to shoe. buy a half to one size shoe bigger, bigger yeah to fit that in there it's yeah. a constant issue well you know with this you don't and trying to easy. fit somebody's leg yeah, on, on that on shoe, and get the shoe in there. Tests, that tests It is a patience. pain in the butt, and it takes like 10 minutes sometimes. And yeah. It's not fun. It's and annoying. This one also, again, prevents the use of orthotics, you know, because it's inside your shoe. You just can't get the orthotic in there Yep, accurately. obviously. This one you can wear your custom orthotic if you have yeah. one. And then that one, you have to get a casting to get it made properly, obviously. This one, they can just do measurements. Sometimes they'll do a casting if you need a long-term use one. But sure. a little easier to get in and out of the doctor's office. Can I this. throw these yet? Sure. All right. So. <laughs> you said it. Uh, hopefully they didn't break. <laughs> wow. It's just a walking boot. We're going to now go into how to put this on properly. I'll also link some videos down below to their website. You can check out you know, how to wean off it properly or how to put it on or comparing it to the walking boot as well. This is well thought out. They'll do a good job explaining it. All right. First to start, you need to open up the brace completely and take everything out. Um, I have a right foot. They will come in right or left. And they'll give you the size that is recommended for you. I have a size 11 and a half foot. Um, these straps are really long because they don't know the size of the person getting mm. them. Yep. So what they do is once they get on you correctly and figure it out, your prosthetist snip will snip them. And the end Velcro piece can move. So it'll still have all the Velcro pieces if you cut them. And it'll be customized. Because I don't need this personally, I don't want to customize it right now to me. But, yeah, I wouldn't have all the straps. You just jinx yourself. You're going to break your ankle. <laughs> I have had grade 3 ankle sprains on both sides. Oh, yeah, sides. I've had a lot of ankle sprains too. So first thing, you need to be seated. 90-degree bend in your leg. Sure. Put it into your foot. So... This part is going to go in the arch of your foot, the bottom strap. And the heel, they said, wants about half an inch above the bottom of your foot. Sure. About there. Okay. And now, the next mission is organizing the straps. Yeah. <laughs> since these are so long, yeah. it's a little annoying. But, yeah, yours would be cut. 
So you want to start with the second strap up. Coming, yep, coming in from the bottom. So that's the first one, the one that goes right over your ankle joint. Tighten them pretty tight. I, that's what yep. I realized. And they're going to – your your doctor or prosthetist, in the videos, they show how to kind of bend and maneuver the plastic a little bit or even heat it up so it will be more customized to you. This is just the basic one for me. Second one is the bottom strap. So I'll pull that pretty tight. Yep, and, yeah, these – like I just snip them off if I were to keep this brace. Next – First rung up. Wrap it around 16 times. And this, yeah, I mean, this. I have pretty small ankles, so this is going to go around me a lot. Is not going to go around someone else a lot. You know, you just cut it up. And the Velcro works. That stuff is sticky. It, it was all over work. the carpet with me. And lastly, the top one. Ah. Obviously, if you have issues bending over like this, somebody's going to need to put it on for you. Yep, but. and your... Dr. Prostatist will fit it on the first time to make sure it's right for you. Yep. But this thing is sturdy. Sturdy. And now I'll stand up. So you can see I can't invert or evert my foot. So if you look at my left foot, I can roll it either way. That's how you roll your ankle typically. This one, like, this is all I got. Yeah. And then also, like, dorsi and plantar flexion, my left foot, right foot, it, it just... <laughs> Rigid. <laughs> it goes. Yes. So this is locked in, so no range of motion. I'm not going to show you how to do it the other way. You can watch the videos to unloosen the screws. But if you wanted to use it as an AFO, yeah, I mean, it just you just swing your leg. Yeah. So it works both ways. Uh, they do recommend wearing longer socks with them, obviously, because it does go up your ankle. You could get a little skin breakdown, I think, if you weren't. Yeah. Or if you have pants, you, I'd put it around your pants. Yeah. But... It's Look at that. You can hardly even tell Mike's wearing that. It definitely ankle works. Support. It's great because I when I sprained my ankles in the past, I've had one of those basic, you know, sleeve type ones with the strap. Oh and yeah. you have to fit it in your shoe and it's super uncomfortable. Yeah. Oh yeah. And this is way better. I yeah. see why like the football players like these. Offensive linemen, defensive linemen, I think. They'd yep. probably wear so these. So for the football player ones, typically what they do is they take off the Velcro. They'll just keep the frame of it, and then they'll just tape it around. Sure. So Because I know they don't want exposed metal for sports. Just but I think they said 60 college teams have them now, and oh yeah. uh, 15 pro teams use them. Nice. So, yeah, they're getting nice. out there. They just want to get more into the medical profession as well because, I mean, they definitely work. I, I like them a lot. So. Final thing I want you to do is say prostatist five times in a row. Ready? Prostatist, 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 prostatist. Is that <laughs> Very five? good. All right, subscribe to us. Check us out on TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube. Hit the bell for notifications when we put up a new video. All right. And thanks for watching. Thank you. The Bob and Brad Crew. The Bob and Brad Crew. The Bob and Brad Crew. The Bob and Brad